Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. So in a previous video, we made Cal Kestris' blaster from Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Today, we're gonna to be making his lightsaber. And in the description below, you'll find the original 3D model for this if you want to try it yourself. And it's well made, it's just a few pieces, so quite easy to print out and hopefully assemble. So that, of course, is the top of the saber right there with the button of how you switch it on. This is the actual grip, which I'm gonna leave just in the black plastic. It came out incredibly cool. Like that just is stunning for me. And we've got the bottom of it. And this comes out because my brother actually, when I first got a 3D printer, he was like, oh, you're gonna make some lightsabers then? I was like, I thought at the time, nah, that just sounds kind of boring to make a lightsaber on a 3D printer. But here we are, and I've realized how cool this will be. So this piece here was the most complicated to print because it was in obviously two separate files. And originally I tried printing it vertical and it just fell over about 80% through. So what I did is I actually took both of them because of course you need two. And I just combined them into a, my own custom model with these little plastic connections and then printed it vertical. Because I did try doing it like lying down in different orientations and stuff and I could not get it to print right. And most other ways would have needed a lot of support. So that ended up being really cool to do. And it's also one of the strengths now, as I've slowly learned over the last six months how to do 3D printing, doing stuff like this where I modify the files to make them even better to print, it's actually really cool. Now these are the connector pieces, just a simple kind of rectangles. I did print out at the original size in gray, but they were way too big. I ended up actually printing them out in the purple, as you see here, I think about 95% or so to actually have a better fit and that came out way better and this saber is huge like it is massive if you see it in person it's definitely a two-handed saber for sure and in the game of course it is very customizable in the first game i always went with the double bladed i think i always went with a gold one if i remember right for the blades so yeah, this is all the bits and it's a very simple print, very easy to do. This is definitely a big recommendation for me if you want to get into 3D printing. If you've got you know the baseline sorted out, you can definitely print this one off and a little bit of modification to that uh, side panels. But here we go, we've got them painted up. So the black is being left as it is because I think this looks amazing in just normal black. But we've gone and given this an iron coat of paint as a nice baseline for the metal and it looks I think relatively fine, nothing too sparkly. I was considering giving it a clear coat and I, I did see in a lot of reference photos for different other, you know, other like professionally made uh, merchandise that there, there's a lot of them that are glossy, but just like I can't quite see glossy in the Star Wars universe. So I decided to go for kind of a matte paint here. And I also did it with a kind of gradient. So it tapers off to this slightly more uh, darker looking uh, silver on the actual bits that I think would be heating up when the blade is on so that it kind of gives me kind of a feel that something has been there causing like heat damage or something over time. Now if you want to give this video a like or a subscribe that'd be great I'm trying to hit the thousand subscriber mark and when I'm putting this together here I was thinking I don't know if I really like it with these side panels on I think I actually prefer it just with it bare and this changed by the end but anyway let's move on to the weathering so what we've got now is gone in and i've blackened up all the little lines and stuff i need a lot more detail and i've golded up the actual button for switching the saber on and i think if i was to maybe tweak something here for myself would be to actually cut off that button and then print it off separately and glue it on maybe like uh, with red filament or something like that and that'd be really cool but i don't have red filament so we're just going to go with the original design here and now is the time to assemble the entire thing and glue it all up. And what I want to do here is avoid getting any glue on the handle because of course it's just going to be bare plastic so I don't want glue being on it and caused any issues over time. Uh, which I failed at unfortunately. And I'm also starting to learn how much glue to use with the 3D printing parts as well. I was a bit conservative with other stuff I've built and I've started to add a bit more in. And what I'm using here is just a slow uh, curing and a thick super glue which seems to work really well with the plastic no issues and goes together good so far not seeing any major like uh, marking or anything like that but there's definitely some off gassing which worries me in the long term but for the moment it works incredibly well and with this brand if you buy them off amazon i got three bottles and that i think will do me for a very long time and i've got to say the dumb thing about this was the fact that i didn't build a lightsaber earlier because it is incredibly easy to put together 
It's relatively simple to print. And of course, gluing it up is super simple because it's all vertical and you don't have to like clamp it down or stuff like that. And there, there's where I got the freaking glue on the handle. So what I did with the handles, I came back with a very sharp knife and just immediately cut that glue right off and some of the plastic as well. So that hopefully uh, none of it's left on it because it will mark it over time. And if I can get all the glue off, even with a little bit of plastic, at least it is, you know, gone. So not brilliant. I was, um, you know, very much attempted not to do that. At least it didn't fall into the little grooves. That would have been impossible to get out. And I think that would have easily marked it over time. So got away with that maybe just. We'll see how it's kind of uh, matures. But so far, it hasn't shown up with a bad mark as yet anyway. And I'll have to be more patient in the future. But what I will say is that handle is just so cool. The intricate pattern is just the best part of this entire saber, I think. Just looking at it really makes it look cool. And of course, holding it, it's got a different feel than other things I've held. And uh, I think if you went and bought a lightsaber, it might honestly not be as intricate as this. I think this is just sweet. And then the great thing about this was I could just leave gravity to do the actual pressure and bring it all together. So I didn't have to clamp it up, didn't have to do anything special, and we're gonna nail on the side panels. And here is a great look at the Sabre Complete, and I think it looks astonishing. It is just so freaking cool. Be able to make this, like obviously you can go out and buy a lightsaber, and to be able to just make this is sweet. And also for it to be relatively simple is awesome. So yeah, here's our side panels. So. Let me know what you think, because I was flip-flopping all over the place. I was at first thinking I don't want them on. Then I was thinking, wait, I do want them on. And I'm not really sure what I like better right now. I do want to find maybe a better attachment method. But what I love about this right now is that, of course, they're hot swappable. I can take them off if I want to. I can put them back on. And it's a nice kind of thing right now until I maybe figure out a better mounting uh, system. But, my God, it looks so freaking cool. So you'll have to let me know in the comments below what you would choose. Would you have them on or off? Because I honestly just keep going back and forward right now. And yeah, I don't know if I'm going to keep them on or off or just have them as an optional thing that I can either display it with on or just have them next to it and keep my eye on it any moment. And yeah, it's, it's a great, great lightsaber. Sweet model. Very much a lot of fun to print. And it was actually very simple. I would totally recommend this as a beginner one. Once you've kind of uh, started doing 3D prints and you've got into it a certain amount where you're relatively confident, this is just a beautiful model to print out. So what I'll leave you with now is some high quality photos of this thing and in its final form. And you guys can let me know what you think of it. Uh, and of course, I'm trying to grow this channel. So likes and subscribes would be very beneficial. I'm a long way away from a thousand subscribers, but we're trying to get there. And let me know what you think of this, if there's anything I could potentially improve, and also give me the verdict on whether the side panels should be on or off.